Howdy folks, it's Matthew, your friendly neighborhood technician here in Braxton, making a video for you out of Idaho. We have finally figured out this Honda K24 Earth Dream engine. Uh, those are the key words right there, Earth Dream. So the K24 engine itself is pretty straightforward and simple. Um, bottom line is if you have the Echo Tech or anything like that, then you have an Earth Dream engine which means everything is like basically backwards on it. You've got the intake is back by the firewall and the exhaust is up front, whereas on just the regular Honda K24, it's actually backwards. The exhaust is on the back and the intake is on the front. Now, with the Earth Dream engine and the Echo technology, there's a manufacturer's defect and issue with the engine that causes the timing chain tensioner to pretty much destroy itself, all right? And it's why you have to service it about every 80,000 miles. So what is happening is the exhaust camshaft on, on the Earth Dream engine is opening and then closing too hard, okay? And when it does that, it's causing the timing tensioner to slam back down on itself, okay? So what we're gonna do here is I'm gonna trade this camera off and I'm gonna turn this engine over and so you can kinda see what it, what it looks like as it's turning over first off. Okay, so just, just so we have a good starting point, I'm gonna go ahead and turn this engine over, okay? Now, we've already fixed it. I'm gonna show you what we do to fix it, but as you can see there, the engine's turning over, okay? Now, if you notice, when you turn the engine over, it likes to kick back just a hair. Watch it very slowly. Okay, look at that right there, okay? Okay, so when this happens, which is, which is normal, it's natural, when this takes place, What's happening down here, and if you look down here at the timing tensioner, okay, okay, you, you can't, you can probably barely see it, but when you install this tensioner from the factory in this in this position, what you'll notice is this timing tensioner, the piston, will travel further back down than what you see this one doing because again we fixed it so you you're barely gonna see it just just watch it didn't even see it there then so we've actually fixed it so what will happen is this piston will travel back down and what that does is it causes this tooth and mechanism to break when there is low oil pressure or you're starting your Honda up or anything like that, this will just travel like crazy, okay? So Honda knows about this problem, right? And there is no way to actually fix it. Why? It's not an issue with the tensioner. Again, what's breaking the tensioner is not the fact that the tensioner has been poorly made. It's the fact that on the Earth Dream engine, the exhaust camshaft slams shut harder than what it's supposed to, causing that piston down there to travel back further than what it's supposed to at a hard rate, and it breaks the teeth off, and it causes an extremely loose timing chain, okay? I know that's complicated, but that's what you're dealing with if you're working on this engine, and you notice your timing chain is loose. Now, what's gonna happen is you're gonna do this job, install your timing tensioner per Honda's factory manual, the way you're supposed to do it, 100 times over again, you're gonna start it, and it's gonna start up and run beautiful, but it won't pass a wide open throttle test, and it'll die every time you give it the gas. And that's because the timing's gonna be off about half a tooth due to the fact that the timing tensioner broke upon startup and your chain is loose. So. How do you fix it? Motor Trend released an article that stated you manually reset the timing tensioner before you install it is what we figured out so that the piston, you, you move the piston further out and then reinstall your pin. So that way when you originally install it and you pull your pin, 
the piston is now further out towards the timing chain and so that area of travel is actually less that it has to travel back down. So in order to do that, you need to set top dead center, which we're going to do. And then what we've done is we've installed a zip tie on the tensioner side. So that way, when we remove the tensioner, we actually keep the chain in the position that it's at and it doesn't get so loose that it jumps off of the gears. So go ahead and set it to T back to TDC. Install a zip tie, pull, pull it tight so you're not loose. Install a zip tie to hold it and then uninstall your timing tensioner. Now, a little trick we found on this engine is if you roll it back about five to 10 degrees, it'll push again. Remember this exhaust cam pushes that piston back down and breaks it. So if you slowly roll it back just, you know, a few degrees, you can see the piston push down and you can also reinstall your pin to uninstall it. And so that's where we're at now. We've rolled it back. We've got our pin installed. I'm gonna go ahead and uninstall it for you guys and show you how we did it on the bench and reset the timing tensioner before we installed it. So we're gonna pause the video, we'll be right back. Okay, so this timing tensioner with the green pin in it is only being used as an example. So when you receive your new timing tensioner in for your K24 Earth Dream engine, okay, it's going to look like this. And that piston will be that far down and you'll see where the tooth will be set, okay? Now if you notice, I have already manually reset this piston. And if you notice, I have it set so that it's one, two full teeth out. Where this one is just one tooth, that top tooth out. So you can see the difference in how, if you install your K24 timing tensioner the way the factory has it set, you will absolutely have to replace the timing tensioner again and redo this job over two or three times. Trust me, we've been there, done that now. Okay, so again, this is not the right tensioner, but that's just kind of show you how they come. So, when your K24 Earth Dream timing tensioner comes like that, what you're gonna do is you're gonna get a C-clamp and you're gonna install it and your C-clamp here, okay, so that it will hold, all right? And then you're gonna pull your pin. Now I'm gonna go ahead and show you. Well, I don't think I'm gonna be able to show you like I want to, all right? So let's do this. So you're gonna put that in there like that and you're gonna go ahead and pull your pin. Now it's gonna hold it for you. Now remember, you're not gonna look like this. You're gonna look like this in there, right? So then what you're gonna do is you're gonna slowly loosen your C-clamp. And as you do, you're going to see this mechanism right here as this comes out, you're gonna see this open up. This is gonna go backwards and it's gonna open up. As a matter of fact, I don't need this timing tensioner anymore, so I will demonstrate on this in just a second. So you'll see this tooth right here, this tooth is gonna spring backwards and open up as you're loosening this. So what you're doing is you're loosening it and you're bringing the piston out. And what this is gonna do is it's gonna go back as you're bringing the piston out, it's gonna go back, and then it's gonna click and go back down one time. And then you're gonna to continue to loosen it until it goes back, this piece goes back, and it's gonna go back and click two times. And then once it clicks that second time, you'll reinstall your pin, take it out, and now it is prepared to be installed on the K24 Earth Dream engine and you have changed the distance 
with the piston here so that the travel back down is not as hard and it doesn't slam that tooth down and break it. Okay, so let's check. Let's see if I can demonstrate on this one. Now this is a non-Earth Dream K24. All right, so if you notice already, when I let go here, that's not loose. Now watch what happens on this tensioner when I compress it. That mechanism moves back, okay? So now we can let it go. So to change these teeth, let's loosen. Okay, now watch it. There we go. Okay, now it's clicked twice, right? Now then, we're gonna recompress it and that's gonna bring that mechanism back where it needs to go. And we're going to install our pin. And now you're set to reinstall your timing tensioner and not have to worry about that manufacturer's defect and this breaking upon startup. So, so from this point, as you saw earlier in the video, we turned the engine over. We didn't have a bunch of slack in the chain. Everything is smooth. We're good to go. So there you go, folks. That is how you fix and overcome the Honda K24 Earth Dream Timing Tensioner Nightmare. We'll post the article on Motor Trend that was posted about this that talks about how you change this and fix and all that other good stuff for you. So... So if you're scratching your head on this one, don't fret, guys. We can absolutely overcome it. So now we're excited to be able to put this back together and get this one out of the shop. So, All right, guys. So I'm going to go ahead and end the video here. If you have any questions, shoot them to us in the comments. Again, I love the fact that we've got other mechanics as part of the community here and people that are being polite and kind and nice and answering other people's questions and all that other good stuff. So... If you have a question, shoot them to us in the comments. If I can't get to you, I know some of these other good people that are here absolutely can get to you. So definitely share the knowledge. This is Matthew, your friendly neighborhood technician, and my apprentice Braxton signing off.